Hello guys, Nurfix here. So today I got a Ford Mondeo 2015 to change the rear brakes. Uh, oh, no, no, it's lots of videos on the internet how to do this. Uh, yes, probably yes, but not electronic one. So I will show you my way how I do this, okay? So for start with, what you have to do is just put the car on gear. So let's say put the first gear and leave it there. So now what you have to do is start ignition. Okay, so you start the ignition, you wait, press the foot on the brake, yeah, and press the, the electric handbrake down. So you will see the light goes off. So you just leave the handbrake very slow, so the car is still, and now you turn off the ignition. And the brake is not active. Okay, this is the way you have to do You have to leave the brake like that, till you will do the two sides, and then it's fine. You can just later put the brake back of course before you put the brake back you have to pump few times the foot brake and then it will be all right okay so we will see in how how to do the brakes now so hello guys so let's go let's go remove this so this brakes was fit like uh, let's say last year uh, we are now in june and this was fitting in december so for what I can see this quick like mad so what I can see in here is everything dry these guys who fit the brakes they they're not good at all in their job they don't put any grease in here copper in here for the brake pad slide they just put in here and that's it so we will see how this is just remove this everything from here I got one bit missing. I tell you what, this brakes is quick like mad. And another thing I will show you. That even they didn't clean this and put grease on it. This is what I call a money taker company. They don't care about their customers. They just do crap jobs like this and then they walk away. If something happened, if the car noisy or something like that, they will tell you something else. I got lots of people, they come in here after fitting brakes from somewhere, they never meet me before. When I start taking things apart, this is what you see. Okay, I have to take the spring, I forgot the spring. Like you can see, rust, dry, like a bone. The part's still good, but I don't really use them. Look the rust, look, look at that. Like a lubrication on this. I don't believe in that, tell you what. I don't know why people working in cars to do a such job like that. You can see this, look, this is plastic or whatever from the other parts for, not this one's for sure, because this one is metal on it.
course we don't want to take this 100%. This needs an hour at all to do it. And I just see I got a leak in here, it looks like it. Well now we'll leave it, I will keep eye on this. It's a little bit wet in here, but I will keep eye. If something changes, I need to replace this caliper. But for now we leave it, just keep eye on it. Let's remove the, the disc now. So this is about uh, 15 mil to remove the bolt on the back. Oh, don't go anywhere, say that. Dry as a bone. So what I'm doing in here, just give a good clean of the brush, okay? So like you can see. I think they did have this work, to be honest. Looks good to me. If you grease, everything will be fine. The distance come off easier because this guy's changed this before. And now have a look. Look. It should give a good clean here in the edge and in here. In here it looks clean. But oh, look at that. And these discs don't look like good quality. They start cracking here. Yeah, they start cracking. Let's say seven months discs. Lots of bad on it. Here a clean. This surface has to be clean, otherwise the disc never will sit properly. Here don't really matter because it's a different. You can see your finger is like a. This side here is it's more lower than this side in here. So this side is more important for the seat disc. For the disc is what I mean. Sorry about that. Just a little bit upset because I bought this car not long time ago and I'm spending already. Let's say this is in England, pounds, 450 pounds in new discs and parts for the front and back. Because the front ones I didn't film, but it was bad as well. So let's see the colors.
my fingers. I love this kind of stuff. So just to give not too much, because later you will collect dust from the break. So just a thin layer like that. Now is the fun part. Right. So this this is why you are here. So what I will do now, you can do this two ways. So you got this way. What I will do now. And you got another way is connect a diagnostic tool and then push this piston, uh, this motor all back, and then you can compress the, pre the piston. I got the software, but I don't want to use it. So, dirty hands, even dirty the car and everything. So, what I do, I will show you. So, you can see here two bolts in here. Let me see if the camera is in the right place. Yes, it is. So, what I will do, just try. I will undo these two bolts. This will be a little bit tricky like that. That's it. And then I will undo another one here. So it's two bolts holding this electronic brake fan. Okay. So this is very easy guys. This not difficult job to do if you do this correct make sure the ignition is off hand brake is down just put the first gear onto the brake and let the car roll to against them when you start braking if the clutch or the flywheel whatever gearbox whatever you want to say okay this is the electronic bit leaving in here so now what we will do in here is just be careful here on the microphone on damage yeah so I just will put a glove in here. That's it. That is how it should be. So now you grab this tool. Some people got this tool at home. You see? You see the even is it is interesting because what I will do now, you see the, the, the way is turning, it's turning this way. So what I will do, I know this is the way to the caliper go back, all the all the way back. If I do this, see, I can't go anymore. That's it. And now this one, that's it. The caliper is all back. Okay. So now what I can do in here is just put this back. Just take all the dust away. Put this back. Put the bolts back. I start do this on um, on a VWs and Passats, you know, because I remember I did have a guy in here. No, no, I won't change my brakes, but a friend of mine just tried changing his brakes, and it's the same system I got, and now his dashboard is a Christmas tree. I said, okay, you have to do one way. Probably did wrong. And when I did, he was very surprised. He said, oh, okay. So yeah, because this is an electronic thing, no nothing else. It's still the same proce procedure than other ones. Only the only got the electronic thing in here. It's just tight well. One. Two. Done. You don't have to worry about this now. Just leave it here. And fit the disc. You need to clean the disc because it's some dust when you buy a disc. Mm -hmm. It comes with this protector layer. You just give a clean like that. Or you can use a brake cleaner if you want, but this is only powder. So 
nothing wrong with this paper. It breaks in pieces. Right. There we go. It's in place. everything clean. The car is already done, just give another light brush like that to take this bits out. Now just put back. This pad is outside because there's no spring on it. Bit grease like that. Boom. There it is. I wonder if the spring is on the back. The piston go against this one. Then I will show you something ridiculous. I think I did show already on a video, but apply some grease in a piston. Like that, and apply some grease in here as well. Okay, so now the state of this is easy to clean. Put your knee, get this wire brush, and apply that. It's clean, get another kind of grease, something like that. It's what I use all the time, never have problems problems. This helps to keep the things all smooth inside. Just put in here. Okay, easy, go in. That's what we want. Another one the same, even this one is worse, but it will be shiny in a minute. I think it will rain, so I try to do this more quicker as possible. Stop the video. I got some friend in here. Back in a minute. Hello. Sorry, guys. So I have a friend in here asking me for a tool. Right. So I'm going to, this one now. Let's put in its place. Like that. Take this. Always on a brake thing. You got lots of dust in it. Right. So now is everything ready? You just put back. Very slowly, in place, like that, and now, 
Alright, hope that bolts back as well. This one first. Screw up. Just make sure you put this bolt straight. If you screw sideways, it will damage this. So that's that's good to keep in mind. You probably know this stuff anyway, but just warn you. Forgot this one in the top, one in the bottom. Put the spring on. That's it. What I'm doing in here, so I will put the wheel, tighten a little bit the wheel, and then do the foot brake to, to push the piston back to position. Because otherwise, if you don't put the wheel, the disc will be a little bit on the sideways. So if you can do that, that will be helpful. Let's see. This is good now. Good. Well, now you press the brake a few times. This is how we change the brakes on this car with electronic handbrake. Okay, so now we will go inside and I will show you the procedure before you press the brakes. And of course, don't forget to close this. We have to open this for the holy come up. So, like you see the handbrake is not done, so just press the pump a few times, okay, so put the feet on the, on the brake, put the car in neutral, okay, so like you see the car is rolling, so let's start the car, start the ignition, and start the car, okay. Yeah, just press the brake pedal till you feel good yeah all good okay so like you can see the car rolls so let's go a little bit back uh, forward leave the clutch slow that's it now reverse just be careful in there for you don't damage nothing okay stop and now put the handbrake for the first time up There you go, parking brake applied, brake applied, sorry, oh, what's happening with me? Undo the brake, car rolls, brake in, car stays. That's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you. Some of the people they struggle, they don't have machine to, to connect to the car to do this brake service. But this is the easy way you can do. This is what I was doing in Asignius. Uh, Volkswagens and other cars and never have a problem. This works like a treat. So stay tuned for more videos. Have a good day.